Next question. Simple interest on the sum of money for three years at five percent per annum is twelve hundred. What will be the compound interest for the same period for the same rate? Okay. Simple interest at five percent for three years will be equal to fifteen percent of principal. Compound interest at five percent for three years is three successive increments of. Five percent. Two successive increments of five percent are equal to a single increment of ten point two five percent. Ten point two five and five percent will be ten point two five plus five plus. So how much does this become? Ten plus five, fifteen point two five plus ten point two five into five is fifteen one point two five. Yeah, 51.25. So this will become 0.51. So 15, this will be and 15.76. Okay. So on compounding, you will get 15.76 percent. So this is nothing but 15.76 percent simple interest. Or in other words, on simple interest, you are getting 1200 to be 15 percent. Is equal to 1200 rupees. The question effectively is 15 percent is 1200 rupees. How much is 15.76 percent? We need to find the value of 15.76 percent. Okay. Uh, again, you can let me just clean up the the board. Okay. So so we 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 have to find the value of 15.76 percent. We know that 15 percent is equal to 1200. 15% is 1,200. So 7.5% will be 120, and 0.75% will be equal to 12. So we know that 15% is equal to 1,200. Oh, stupid of me! And and just say no one has even bothered to point out. Yeah. Is now I am getting the okay. 15% is so 7.5% should be 600 and 0.75% should be 60. So 15% here 0.75% is equal to 60 and we need a 0.01% also 0.01% also 0.01% should be uh, okay. Again, look at this. Fifteen percent is twelve hundred. This implies ten percent should be uh, two thirds of this. So twenty-four by three, about eighty. Eight hundred. Ten percent. So fifteen percent is twelve hundred. So ten percent should be eight hundred. Fifteen two thirds. So this also should become two thirds. So point zero one percent should be approximately zero point uh, eight. So point zero one percent is equal to point eight. So it becomes twelve sixty point eight. Correct answer is 1261. In this question, the calculation was the key. Look at the choices. You have a 1260, you have a 1261, you have a 1264, you have a 1254. Small error in calculation. You could mark the answer as 1260 or 1261. So be careful that the choices are close, and these are fairly fairly close choices. You are unlikely to get choices that are closer than this. So to make sure you get into the habit of looking at the choices along with the question. Thank you.